for the continent, when you look about the 2063 days, most of the people are not even born. So the first thing that we need to measure is what are they going to be like. And the first thing is nutrition. To make sure that they will be healthy, they'll be able to learn, and they'll be able to have a healthy, peaceful life. And that's one indicator that could be very important. And I was struck in the report that there was a statement that a third of Africa's children are wasted children. And that was quite troublesome. And the wasted part is linked to nutrition, which comes to the question of educating mothers. And educating mothers means a different form of education. Uh, we need scientists who understand nutrition, but in a way that can be explained to the average person. We need politicians who can look at statistics and make policies that can shape the next 50 years. We need engineers who can design the energy systems, the transport systems, manage the cities that we are building, and the education that goes along with that. And that's another measure. But we also, on the question of science, I'm, I, 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 I take very importantly, this question of Af what Africa will be like 60 years from now. Africa is different. It is very rich in natural resources. We have ecosystems that we can protect, but we need science. We need a different form of an economy. We need a different form of engagement. And that kind of education is really critical. And then finally, when you think about the kind of transformation that we could engage in the next 50 years, we will be the most popul popul populous, young continent, which means all, all the labor of the world will be here when you think about the people who will be able to work. So what will we do with that? I think a measure and an indicator that will be important is how the kind of jobs, the kind of engagement the young people 50 years from now will be having would be different. I take a simple example. They are called the digital generation. They are very skilled at using mobile phones. If you talk about big data, what would big data mean 50 years from now for Africa? It would mean we know exactly where each rhino is, we know what makes it succeed, and we know how we can protect that rhino, but at the same time, grow fresh food, good nutrition, manage the transport between one location and the other, oversee our oceans, know what's changing in them, as uh, Madam Chairperson said this morning, and that scientific knowledge and the link it has to how communities function is the kind of measures that I think would be very important. But the goal, uh, I hope, will be uh, an Africa that is prosperous, peaceful, high, highly healthy, and living in, in, in harmony with the nature around it and the rest of the world.